Oh god. The 4B movement. What the heck is this? These women are the most privileged women in human existence. Oh man, these women just have it so dang hard, don't they? Chicks living in the United States in the year 2024 are the most privileged women ever to exist in human history. These women have zero struggle in life, yet they're complaining like a bunch of- I mean, look at this right here. They're all in college, they probably don't work, and if they do, they probably have a really cushy DIY job or whatever. They have their $6 Starbucks latte in their hand. They have a car bought and paid for by daddy. And here they are, pissed because their women candidate didn't win the presidency because she, well, sucks. They're out there marching in the streets protesting. I mean, cutting college class or not showing up to their college university job. All to protest that they hate Donald Trump. Oh, here we are again. Just like back in 2016. Some of these chicks even take it so far that they shave their heads and they post it to a TikTok video. Like these videos are going to change anything. It just makes these chicks look like a bunch of retards. And check it out. This 4B movement actually originated in Korea. And what they do is they abstain from having sexual relations with males. And they don't do the family thing. And they pretty much protest by making themselves ugly as possible. Well, I got news for you, chicks. You actually were already ugly. And no dude in your soy boy group wanted to bang you in the first place anyways. So I guess these chicks want to make themselves look as ugly as possible to protest Trump and all of his supporters. Like any Trump supporter male wanted any of these chicks in the first place. Like they wanted to start a family with any of these college chicks and this is absolutely the biggest bonehead move a chick can make even shaving their heads like this and they're boycotting men in general and they're gonna stop having sets for the next four years until Trump is out of office I mean like if you look at most of these chicks most of these chicks are bi and I think this 4B movement is just gonna make all these liberal bi chicks go full on les. All these self-entitled chicks don't got shit to do but protest and post videos to Instagram all day. So they got together, you know, via social media and they created the 4B movement which they stole from Korea because Trump won and their little DIY hire Madam President lost for a second time and they're just furious about it. I mean, look at the pissed off look on this chick's face. Oh man, I'm so scared. Like, look at her. Oh, she's gonna come and get me. <laughs> I personally think that shaving your head to protest is a really cheap move. I mean, don't they know that the stuff grows back? Why don't these suckers go homeless to protest and not pay tax? Or how about they move out of the country? Or how about they chop all their fingers off? Or why not get a tattoo on their face protesting Donald Trump? Why not stop eating? Or why not stop buying American-made products? Why not light all their clothes on fire? That would be good right there. Instead, they shave their heads like a bunch of poussées. I love all those female feminists who are in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, and they're so peed off about the abortion rights. Like, they're going to be getting an abortion anytime soon when they're like 65 years old and crap. You think some dude's going to be trying to knock them up? Some dude in their little college soy boy group that's like 40, 50, 60 years old. It's like, what do they care about women's reproductive rights? They're so old, they're not going to be getting a freaking abortion anyways. Honestly, to tell you the truth about this 4B movement thing, no one's going to resign simply because you're making yourself look fugly. Because the truth is, you are fugly already. And I kind of like these videos. It kind of makes the victory oh so much sweeter. So... Go ahead and keep on posting your little, you know, TikTok videos. Because they're actually really fun and entertaining to watch. And Trump won and it's kind of a victory dance for us to watch these things. So keep on making them suckers.